embryonic stem cell research involves actually accessing cells that are only present at a very, very early stage of embryonic development. Actually, the development of the oocyst, which is the precursor to the actual embryonic development that occurs once that is implanted in the endometrium. Um, and so the, accessing those particular cells is the origin of embryonic stem cell research. But other stem cell research can occur by, by accessing stem cells at any stage in development and including adults, because there are stem cell populations in virtually every adult tissue of the body. Well, the major argument I hear is the argument that it, uh, that fundamentally, I guess, formulates around right to life. Uh, that that uh, interrupting the development of the oocyst to an embryo is akin to abortion, is akin to in, it's been used, it's a, it's a form of murder to some people, and that uh, anything you do to interrupt normal development of a fertilized egg is basically uh, against uh, pro-life uh, positions. Medical research has gone through the, this sort of a discussion for over the last hundred years repeatedly. Uh, the most recent major example was transplantation, tissue transplantation, uh, with the beginning of uh, kidney transplants maybe 30 years ago, um, and then liver transplants, heart transplants, uh, bone marrow transplants even. Uh, there's questions raised uh, in the public, you know, public debate, good public debate about moving tissues from one person to another. Is this interfering with normal life uh, and with nature intervening? Um, and I think those, those are good things to discuss, but the fact is transplantation is, has brought new life to people who are dying otherwise, and that the organs that are used, either from a related donor or from a person who's otherwise essentially dead, um, I think have brought, have brought a lot of benefit, both to donors and to recipients.